Okay, this is going to be a found and stolen hats speed run. And this is very early in chapter 2. I haven't done any missions yet. I've done a little bit of hunting so that Arthur can have some food. And I went over to see the trapper and got an extra holster so I can have two guns. But that's all I've done. And let's just take a quick look in the wardrobe. These are the hats I have. These are the hats that come in your wardrobe when you start the game. I have no found hats, no stolen hats, only one hat on the horse. So let's get this underway. There's the time, 8.06 a.m. So this is the rule. This is going to be one game day. So at, say, 8 o'clock, 8.05 tomorrow, this is where this is going to end, and we'll see how many hats we gathered. And the only other rule is no fast travel. So I have to ride everywhere. And I wanted to get that extra holster from the trapper because I think I'm going to be pissing some NPCs and lawmen off, so I'm going to need an extra gun to fight with, I think. So that's fair enough, and I needed some meat to keep Arthur going. And I needed to gather some wild carrots and things like that for the horse. So here's our first destination. Uh, you will have seen this before on previous videos of mine. This farmer here will spawn one of three hats, maybe. All right, that's the cattleman hat. Sometimes he'll have the rodeo hat. Sometimes he'll have the cutter hat. Today. I hope you don't get loose either, buddy. What was that? All right, so there's a look at that. That's a good-looking cowboy hat, I think. All right. So that was that. Nice meeting you. And that's exactly where that is. Yeah. It's just southeast of Flatneck Station. And from here... I am going to ride to Valentine and try to get uh, the sheriff's hat, the Nevada hat. And it is 9.03, so that took one game hour just to ride there and then to ride to Valentine. So I think that's where most of my time Obviously, it's going to go just getting from one place to another. And there's the sheriff. And he's got a deputy with him. That's not good, but... All right, down you go. Uh, you sign your death warrant when you tie me up. Okay, that, that went okay as far as these things go. I got a little bit of a bounty. But it looks like I'm going to make a clean getaway here. So the next place on the list is Downs Ranch. And you can see it's 941 now. So closing on two hours of gameplay. And this is before you've talked to Mr. Um, Strauss. So Thomas Downs will not be here. And the guy who is here will sometimes spawn either First I find all this a rodeo hat, a cattleman hat, or a cutter hat. Today he doesn't have any of them, so this was a waste of time. But it was worth checking. Next I'm going to go to Painted Sky where there is a, another farm. And sometimes this guy up in here will have one of those three hats, those same three hats. Cattleman hat, cutter hat, rodeo hat. And it looks like he does. Jesus! 
All right, so that's a rodeo hat. And that's a good looking cowboy hat, I think. And that's the Nevada hat we got back in Valentine. So from Painted Sky, I'm gonna ride over to Diablo Ridge and visit the Appleseed Timber Company. And one of these guys will usually, usually have a bucket hat. I've seen as many as four guys wearing a bucket hat at once. And I see one now. So you have to be careful of these dogs. You'll see why in a minute. So I almost died there. That's the bucket hat. And next, I stupidly went to Strawberry. I don't know why, but I wasted a lot of time there and I wasted even more time afterwards with this guy when I was riding out of Strawberry because I thought he had a hat. And it was not a hat. I thought he had the uh, the Holmberg hat, but it's just it's too dark for that Holmberg hat. So this was a complete waste of time. Yeah, not blinking, not flashing. So. So then I ran into these O'Driscolls, and uh, they gave chase. I didn't have time to stop and fool around with them. And I think I've got a, a pretty long ride in front of me. And see, it's already almost 1 o'clock p.m., so I've used up five game hours. And this is my next destination. I'm gonna get a hat that I know for a fact will be there. So we'll call that a gimme hat. And that's gonna be the, uh, the tricorn hat. Some people call it the pirate hat. And this is where we are in case you don't know. And you can usually get the hat from this side, but if you have trouble, you can just run around to the other side and find it. I'm gonna get it here. There it is. And I'm also gonna look in this lock box because there is some aged, aged pirate rum in there. And that's going to do something for my stamina. I don't know if you noticed, but um, since it's uh, early chapter two, most of Arthur's okay. cores are very low. Okay, so that's that hat. And now Arthur's going to get drunk. And I need to get back across the water, but I also want to go to Braithwaite Manor. That's my next destination. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna island hop. I'm gonna ride down these islands here and get closer to Braithwaite Manor. And then when I got to thinking about it, I realized, well, as long as I'm here, I might as well grab this uh, cat eye trinket that's over here. And there's just a 
a lockbox on this little island over here. And Arthur is still drunk. So yeah, that's the cat eye trinket. And what it does is permanently increases the duration of fortifying tonics by 20%. And that's, that's pretty substantial. So now it's 3 p.m. in the afternoon. And that's Braithwaite Manor over there. So you can see it in the distance here. I'm going to swim over there. Okay, so I don't really expect these people over here to have a hat, but you you never really know, so it's always good to check. Nah. Alright, so at Braithwaite Manor I was hoping to get two hats. One is the Plantation Gambler's hat, and you can find a uh, the guys who are walking around with guns will sometimes have those. Kind of like this guy. Shit, what the hell are you doing? You can't be here. Yep. You best move right now. That man is playing on. You mad? Help me, please. Come on, don't do this. Shit, shit, shit. Okay. There's that hat. That's a quick look at that. And the next hat I want is the Scarecrow Derby hat, but I am not for certain exactly where it is. I think it's right here. I think. I'm, it's been a long time since I got this one. I think it's over this way. Let's see. I know it's in a cleared out area between um, planted patches. I know that. And it should be fairly easy to get. If I can just find it quickly. Oh yeah, there it is, I see it. See, there's a scarecrow right there in that sort of alleyway, just up right there. And I don't have any throwing knives. So I'm just gonna shoot the uh, Shoot the head off his head. There we go. And I think I might have to kill somebody. Okay, and I'm hoping there's another hat pretty close by, and that's where I'm going now. So I'm headed exactly east from Braithwaite Manor. And there's the big tree that's got the dead body on it with the vultures. Just to the north of um, Catfish Jackson. And I'm going to come over here to Boulder Glade from Braithwaite Manor. And these Lemoyne Raiders in this old church here will sometimes have a hat. I think that guy's got one right there. We'll see in a minute. And there comes Johnny Law. Oh, 
All right, let's check this hat. I think it is. Yep. That is a military officer's hat. Sometimes the one of the guys will also have a forage cap as well. I was hoping to see one of those, but all right, so that's the Scarecrow Derby hat from before. Now we're just going to put this one here on our head. Okay, I'd hope to get out of here without fighting any more lawmen, but I'm just gonna have to do it. And actually, I was hoping to find a little um, Le Moyne Raider camp over here. Because sometimes the one that's over here will definitely have the forge cap. But I don't, I don't see it. So what I'm going to do now is go straight to Caliga Hall. Because they also have a scarecrow. And it has a hat. It's a lot harder to find, though, than the one at uh, Braithwaite Manor. It's just over this way to the east. You go through these tobacco uh, patches, and then right up ahead, there's some corn. So you see that corn right there? And you go on one of these first few rows right here. It's like the third or fourth row. There it is. There it is right there. And there's exactly where we are on the map. That is the Scarecrow's Sombrero. Now, I can't outrun this guy. I'm on a really slow horse and this guy is keeping up with me, so I have to kill him. Right, I want to go to Rhodes, and that's uh, Gandalf hat, basically. So now I'm heading into Rhodes here, and I'm hoping to get at least two hats here, possibly more. And the first place I'm going to stop is the Rhodes Parlor House. Why on earth are you doing this? This has been a a pretty good hunting ground for hats for me in the past. So, let's see what we can get here. You know what? Both of these guys look like they are wearing cutter hats, but I can't be sure. They look kind of dark for cutter hats. So, I think I'll just leave it for now, and we'll check what's inside. Maybe... Maybe. Oh, this guy right here. That's, that's, yeah, that's a boater hat, pretty sure. Oh, I want dynamite. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, so that's the boater hat. I don't see any of the hats. And I've got the uh, military cavalry hat here before. 
and also the Jippy Joppa Panama hat. I was hoping to see one of those two hats too. Okay, fella. And if I had come here first, I might have seen the Jippy Joppa hat here, but there's nobody here anymore. So. You know, that guy right there, looks like he's got it. Right there, yep. the game is always going to have you pick up the thing you don't want to pick up. Alright, so I'm going to check the train station. Because sometimes it's, uh, there is a Panama fedora hat here. I don't see it now. I'll check out here on the platform. Waiting area. No. Yeah, I was hoping for a little bit more. I went to Sheriff. Or the law. One of them. There you go. Let's go. Okay, so from here, I, I'm thinking about getting a second revolver since I'm so close to one. I'll get a second cattleman just over here. Because um, with the law chasing me now, having two revolvers would be a good idea. So this is just over here. Um, there's a body behind this cabin, and it's got a revolver. Why can't I pick that up? I should be able to pick that up right now. Maybe because someone's shooting at me? I don't know. Oh, he has, he's got a hat. There we go. Okay, so that's the military cowboy hat. Now let's see if we can get that uh, cattleman revolver. There we go. This driver has on a rodeo hat. Yep. Okay, moving on. Next destination is Emerald Ranch. And we can see it's almost 1 a.m. So, been at this for about 17 game hours. And I'm hoping to get a flop hat here. 
There's almost always a guy here with a flop hat. That's an interesting looking hat, but it's not a hat. There he is, the guy standing up right here. It doesn't have to end like this. Yep. We're just protecting our land. Whatever happens is on your head. Oh, he had a hat too. Oh, where'd the flop hat go? Alright, what's this? That's a moonshine hat, okay. But there was a flop hat right here. Where'd it go? No. It just... It just disappeared. This is a moonshine hat too. I already got that. Well, damn. I had another hat right there. Oh well. The game giveth and the game taketh away. Alright, I got a witness over here. Maybe he's got on a hat. Nah. Alright, so my next destination is really close by. I love these uh, moonlit nights. Okay, so this is the Guthrie farm. And sometimes you can get two hats here, but one is a gimme right here on the scarecrow. And that is the scarecrow hat. You made me. And sometimes one of these guys will have a hat too. There's also a few things to loot inside that farmhouse. There's an ox nearby and a mule. And right now, I think I'm going to go right back over to Emerald Ranch because I just feel like I should have had a flop hat. And I feel like I got cheated. Look at that. That's like hitting the jackpot on the slot machine. You get those damn hands up if you want to live. Gonna put you right, let me sort this out. I never saw that before. Three stolen hats side by side like that. Okay, so that's my flop hat. What are these? Moonshine hat. Yeah. Already got those. 
That one's a moonshine hat too, pretty sure. Yep. And this guy is Houdini. He got himself free from the ropes. Okay, it's getting daylight now. I'm running out of time. And there go two lawmen. So I don't need to waste time tangling with them. My next destination is McLean's house. That's a good spawn point for hats. And one of these guys will usually have either a rodeo hat, a cattleman hat, or a cutter hat. And neither one have either of those hats. Well, shit. Okay, so for my next hat, I'm going to take another okay. gimme. It's a found hat, and I know exactly where it is. Just need to ride there. Now, I've done this uh, speed run a lot. I do it, I like to do it because if you think about it, one game day is like 48 minutes, so it's like an hour of gameplay. It doesn't take a huge amount of time, and it's fun to have that focus, you know. But this is always what's frustrating is running out of time and you got to ride everywhere so this is Fort Brennan this is out by the mossy flats and there is a hat in here there's a lot of things in here actually but we're just gonna get the hat you just go in this building down the ladder there's a Civil War knife I'm gonna grab that And over here in the far corner is the hat. And that's the Civil War Hardy hat. And there are some other things down here you can um, loot. And upstairs in this building there's a cigarette card. And you should check everywhere, but you should especially check just under there, right under there. There's a chest in there that's got some good stuff in it. All right, now watch what I do right here, because this was very stupid. For some reason, I ran straight out here like this and crossed the river. And I don't know what got in my head, but I'm thinking I'm going to Butcher Creek if I'm on this side of the river, I need Butcher Creek to be on, I need the creek to be on the left. The river needs to be on my left, but that wasn't true. I was already on the right side of the river. So I went the wrong way for like a minute. And then I had to turn around and ride all the way back. Stupid. But I finally got to um, Butcher Creek. And I was expecting to get at least two hats here, the bag hat and the Roanoke hat. Possibly the, um, there's a stovepipe hat as well. But you can almost always get a bag hat here, and I don't see anybody wearing one. Oh. What kind of rotten luck is that? And that hat is nothing. Just wasting my time. Because once you set these people off, you either got to run or kill every single one of them. Now that looked like a bag hat, but it's not. Not blinking. Okay, that's a hat right there. Yep. Oh, 
Okay, what to do? Pick up the hat or take a health tonic? All right, so I respawned. I'm gonna have a time check. It's 8.04. That's it. I'm out of time. Well, I felt like I should have had that hat. That last hat, that was a Roanoke hat. And I felt like I should have had that. So, out of Constellation, there is a little farm east of Butcher Creek. And one of these guys over here will usually have a hat. And he does. He's got a cutter hat. So that's cheating a little bit because I ran over the time, but yeah, I felt like I should have had one extra hat or some somewhere. Plus, I I did do a lot of stupid things with my time, like going to Strawberry. So let's check these hats. How many we got? Okay, here we go. Tricorn hat, Civil War Hardy hat, Scarecrow Derby hat, Scarecrow Sombrero, Scarecrow hat, Nevada hat, Cattleman hat, Plantation Gambler's hat, Bucket hat, Military Cavalry hat, Rodeo hat, Military Officer's hat, Cutter hat, Jippy Joppa Panama hat, Boater hat, Moonshine hat, Flop hat, 17 hats. 24 game hours. I'm not sure if that's good or bad. It's my best total, but I don't know if it's a good total. If you stuck with me this far, I hope you enjoyed that. And as always, thanks for watching.